So we've got impact XT up right now. Here's my kit. All of our pads are velocity sensitive as well as pressure sensitive. So on the velocity side, that means that the softer I tap it, the softer the sound is going to be. Uh, the harder I tap it, the louder it's going to be. Now, if you're the type of person that just likes the sound to be played full volume, you can hit the full level button right over here on the left-hand side. Turn that on. Now, everything will be output 127 or the loudest volume possible. Okay, so let's start recording with Impact XT. So there's a few different ways that you can do this. One of the easiest ways is by using the Studio One Pattern Editor. So what I'm going to do here is temporarily hide Impact. I can hit the Show Hide button right here on the left-hand corner. And I'm going to go back into my Song Setup mode. We had talked about these eight different pads here on the bottom having different functions. These are actually set up as user buttons. So from within Studio One, I can go ahead and select Adam right up here. And you'll notice by default, these have eight different functions. We have Insert Pattern, Duplicate Variation, New Variation, Delete Variation, etc. Uh, but all of those are completely assignable. So let's say I wanted to change Delete Variation to be something else. I can right-click on it, go to Assign Command, and I have a list of pretty much every function that can be assigned within Studio One here that I can choose. So let's say I wanted to search for something Humanize. We have uh, macro humanize, and then we have our musical function. So I can select humanize, hit OK, and notice how that pad now has switched to be the humanize function. If I left click on it, I can also go through and change the color as well. So the only reason I brought you here is so that we can mess with the insert pattern button. So I can close this because we don't really need it up. I was just giving you an example of what they are. Pad number five is insert pattern. Once I tap that, you'll notice now that we have uh, a pattern here inside Studio One. So I'm going to do a couple of other setup things. So I'm going to close the song setup. Quick little power tip, if I wanted to basically make a loop of what's currently selected, I can hold down Shift and hit Set Loop. And you'll notice up top that the looped region is right above it now. So I can turn on uh, my loop directly from the atom itself. So I can hold down Shift and hit Play, and that turns looping on or off. So now basically I have a one bar loop and I'm ready to start recording. All right, so let's turn on our click and see where our tempo is at. We can turn the click on or off here in the transport section. We can also turn our count in or pre-roll by holding down shift and count in. So I'm gonna hit play. So there's our tempo. It's a little fast for me. Really what I would like to hear is right about there. So once again, I can go into song setup mode and the tempo pad could be used for tap tempo. So my tempo was right about, and notice how the tempo has changed. Now the knob right above the tempo pad will allow you to dial in whatever tempo you would like manually as well too. So let's uh, see where we wind up with our tempo. Cool. That's right about where I want to be. Okay, so let's go ahead and edit a pattern. So the first thing I want to do, I'll go ahead and hit play. And I'm going to open up the event editor over here on the left-hand side. So you'll notice that we have a little running LED that goes across. That's going to tell you where in time you're going to be dropping in your hits. We can change to different samples by using the up and down buttons over here on the right-hand side. And let's say I want to program the kick first. Cool. Now let's say I want to put a snare in there. So once again, I can use my up or down buttons to select snare, and I'm going to put a snare on two and four. I can also quickly select a sample by coming out of editor mode and just tapping a sample. So you see it's now jumped over to dry clap. Now it's switched over to hi-hat, but I want to pop in the dry clap in here. So I'm going to go back into editor mode now, and I'm going to put this dry clap on two and four. Cool. 
And when I'm ready to close the pattern editor, I can hold down Shift and the editor button. So that's it. Please check out our other videos. We'll see you again soon.